Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kelvin of We Do Movies, and I am going to reveal my number three film of 2017, and that movie is the Lego Batman movie. Now, I know a lot of you probably are like the Lego Batman movie. Kelvin, really? Well, I'm going to tell you why this was number three in my top films of 2017. I put this in my as my third film because this movie was an absolute joy to watch and I will have a disclaimer and that disclaimer is going to be I did not see the Lego movie didn't have a want I, I wasn't really wanting to see the Lego movie so I just let it pass. But everybody was talking about how Batman was uh, the star, basically the breakout star of that movie. And once I saw a trailer for the Lego Batman movie, I said, well, let me check this out, you know. And luckily, you know, the the heavens opened and God spoke because... My family was actually in town. I was doing a Black History Film Showcase event in uh, Paducah, Kentucky, and my family came down to support me. And one day I just took my nephew, Amir, to the movie theater and I said, I don't want to go see the Lego Batman movie by myself. Because even though it's a it's a Batman movie, you know, the Lego movies, I think that they're, they're more driven with kids in mind. So, you know, I wanted Amir, my nephew, to come see this movie with me. And I thank God that he did want to come and see this movie. And I just had an absolute ball. Like, if you know anything about Batman, if you know anything about the lore, the character, uh, the... The supporting cast, the villains, the rogues that that the rogues gallery of villains that Batman has, like everybody was 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 like center stage on this movie, and it was an absolute joy to watch. I thought Will Arnett did an excellent job of voicing Batman. You had Ray Fiennes uh, doing a vo- uh, casting uh, voice as a. Uh, Alfred, um, also, you know, in the voice cast, you had Rosario Dawson, you had Zach Galifianakis, Channing Tatum, Jonah, Jonah Hill. I mean, the, the, they all did their thing in this movie. And if you are a fan of Batman, no matter what era, there is something for you in this particular movie. I loved it. I had fun with it. And just like recently, When I came, um, you know, to Chicago to visit my family for Thanksgiving, you know, my brother told me that they were watching the Lego Batman movie and Amir wanted them to buy it because he was so in love with this movie. And he was like, they was like, y'all saw that movie. And, And I'm starting to see, you know, just the way Amir kind of mimics some certain stuff that I say and and stuff like that and I know that you know he you know he he see you know I'm his uncle and and I see how he you know feels about me and that you know he can mimic things that I say and it's funny and it's just like touching and that that touched me that he remembered this movie that we watched in February and and still remembered the joy he had because he wanted his parents to buy this movie and they bought it and they watched it and you know he just he loves it and I'm glad he still love it Uh, and I loved it as well I thought it was fun I thought it was uh it 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 was just a beautiful tribute to Batman in, in the most funny way but there was subtle hints at who Batman was as a person but there was so many you know hints about the culture of Batman, the the characters of Batman, the, the like this would like the people who made this movie really really love Batman, and you can see that in this movie, and that's why it's my number three film of 2017. So I'll be back with my number two film, all as well as my number one film. So you guys stay tuned, 
Uh, always comment on our videos. You can always check out our videos. Uh, we do movies on uh, Facebook. You can also check out the YouTube channel as well. And until then, we'll see you next time. Peace.